Hi, in this video I'm going to teach you how to test the reflexes of the upper limb. There are three main reflexes, one of them is a C5, one is a C6, and one is a C7. And uh, fortunately, that's where most disc pathologies tend to happen in the cervical spine. So if you have a problem between C4 and C5, then it affects the C5 nerve root, 5, 6, C6, and C6, C7 will affect the C7 nerve root. Now, this particular hammer um, was designed many, many years ago in 1888 by John Madison Taylor and is probably, especially in the US, one of the most popular patella or reflex hammers to use. Um, but I either like to use this one, which in reality they're all patella hammers, so there's nothing majorly different between them. A lot of people in the UK tend to, to use the stainless steel one. You've got little gadgets at the end yeah, for light touch and things like that, and that's quite good. But if I'm honest, I prefer the cheaper plastic Queen's hammer. Why? I feel that it has a natural bend to it, and when I use the, the weight and I contact the area, then it just seems to give a better response. If you are going to use the Taylor one, then you tend to have it between thumb and finger and use it one end or the other to, to slide like this, and then you, you contact by sliding. Now, when I teach this component on the neurological testing course, it's remarkable that many people are trained in the use of the Batella hammer, but they still struggle to get the reflex. I've even had many patients tell me that they've got no reflex by doctors. So I said, well, maybe let me do it and just see if there's any difference. Now, when I do it, if I ask my patient to flex the elbow, flex the elbow, please, and you find the bicep tendon, so the bicep inserts onto the radial tuberosity here, I normally let the arm just rest against my hip area and I place my thumb over the tendon. So that's it there, yeah, relax, just let the arm go. When I test, I normally use my thumb, I change the shape of the tendon because it works through the, the spindle, the muscle spindles, because when I contact here and tap, then there's a signal that will go via the muscular cutaneous nerve, which is mainly C5 of the bicep, which will go in, and then it will synapse, come back to the same muscle, and if the sensory or the afferent component is working, then you can jump across with where the interneuron is located, and then come back via the motor or the afferent nerve, then you should see a response. So let's just run through that now. So if I palpate the tendon and use the hammer, and then I'm going to lock and tap, and you can see there is a jerk. The bicep basically contracts. When we grade, normal response, we have two and pluses, so it's a two plus. If I cannot get a response, as in not at all, then you can call it a zero, yeah, or a one plus. And then if it's increased, then we would call it a three plus. Just be careful on a three plus, because it might be indicative of what we call a upper motor neuron disorder, and that would be for another video. Now, to me, C5 would be okay. This would be the non-symptomatic side, and then this would be where the symptoms are located. And actually, on this patient, when I do tap the C5 on the right side, I struggle to elicit any form of reflex to that area. So just to recap, thumb on the tendon, I normally put my finger, and I use the weight of the hammer, and I tap. And then you can see that's a C5, and I would grade that as two pluses. C6 is if I ask you to flex your elbow, please, you can see the brachioradialis here. And then be careful on this one because if I tap towards the wrist along here, then it's going to be a little tender to tap. So I try to use the belly of a muscle here, and then I, when I tap, you can see that there's a slight movement of the wrist. You'll notice a slight deviation here, but watch that one again. That was better. So that would be a C6 via the radial nerve. Up again, back to the same muscle, and then you can see that the wrist extends. So C6 for me would be two pluses. C7, I bring the arm across, find the tricep insertion point here, which is onto the lecronin, and then be careful again, because a lot of people touch this area, and, and it's not very nice because it's where the ulnar nerve is located. So again, from there, so I bring the arm across, and then I go onto the lecronin, just above it, onto the tendon, and I tap, and then you can see a response to the tricep, and that would be a C7 nerve root innovation, and you can see that we had a reflex. So to me, C5 and C6 and C7 are all classified as two plus. Just to recap, 
because I normally would do it relatively quick. I tap onto C5. Ooh, that was an increased reflex <laughs> from there. C6, bring the arm across, and C7. I hope you enjoyed the video of the reflexes to the upper limb.